Hey guys, how you doing? It's Fluffykins here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys another magic trick. So, this one I will once again be using my Eagle Brand deck. And what we're going to do here is um this is a very simple trick. Um what you want to do is you want to set up a slug at the top of the deck here. So, what a slug is, is it is a set of cards placed into a very specific order. I have mine all set up here. So it goes ace through king. Alright. And then, what we're going to do is just flip the deck over. And we are going to say, pick a card. We're going to give them the selection of any card out of those diamonds there. Let's say they pick this one here. Say, okay, I want you to take a look at your card. And I will turn around so that you can look at that. Show any other spectators. But if there's no spectators, then, you know. So, what you do is you turn around. And you take your deck, put it face down, and if the card is like if the card is low enough, by the way, here's the card, three of diamonds. If the card is like low into the deck, and you actually like see that they t took like a third one, then um you don't even have to do this. But if they take like one of the higher ones, what you do is when you're turned around, you spread out your deck, take a look, and biggest giveaway is it goes ace two four five six seven so you know that there's no three there okay so then they say okay you turn back around and you say okay now tell me when to stop and then you go through the deck and you just go like this when they tell you to stop you make a break in the deck and they you can they will typically ask you to, you know, like, look up or something, or close your eyes, put the cards behind your back, spin around, all that stuff. You say, okay, you let them do whatever. Well, then what you do is, you can play this off several different ways. You can flip the deck over, go through all this, I've got another slug there can go through and you can find the lone diamond or whatever it is that your slug was made of so there you go there's the three of diamonds you go was this your card I don't like to play it off that way I play it off my own way that being I go okay so what I want you to do and I just set the deck aside you don't really need this Say so, so what I want you to do is I want you to picture your card in your mind. Pretend it's just floating there with nothing else behind it, just your card. You say okay. And then what you do is you pretend that it's very hard and that you're like you just stare at either like their forehead or at their eyes and you just stare and you pretend that it's really hard. And then and you say, Yep, okay. Was your card the three of diamonds? And then they say yes, and you get that perfect reaction of complete and total shock. So, yeah, that is, um, that is today's trick. Um, being, I haven't really come up with a name for it yet. Let's think here. That is the... Blah, 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 blah. Ow, that's hard to come up with a name for. My god. Alright, we're just gonna call that one the, um, Mind Reader's Slug. Alright. Or, no. No, 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 I don't like that one. Let's call that one the Cheater's Slug. That sounds good. Like it. If you like the name the Cheater's Slug, make sure you go and click that like button. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go and subscribe down below. Also, comment and like. Peace out.